In this video, I'm going to be teaching you a brand new way, which also happens to be the best way I found to export your images at the highest possible quality, all the whilst completely eliminating any compression quality losses during an Instagram upload or any other upload on the web. And let me tell you, I've been on Instagram for over three years now and I've only just discovered this amazing method. And by gosh, does it make a huge difference. So without further ado, let's dive in. So I'm sure you've been there before, right? You've come to the end of a beautiful photo edit in Photoshop and after hours and hours of hard work and focus, you finally gaze upon your finished work of art in esteemed pride and joy. Only for that joy to quickly fade away to a painful frustration as you stare at the subtly degraded, pixelated image that is the Instagram upload that you just posted. <sighs> Hey guys, Justin here, back again with another video, and this time we're talking about image exports out of Photoshop. And more specifically, how to export your image to its highest possible quality, all the whilst ensuring that it is formatted optimally so as to avoid any image compression during an Instagram upload. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you today, so enough talking about it and let's dive into Photoshop and get started. Okay, so here we are in the amazingly powerful world of Photoshop and in front of me we have this fully edited photo of Francesca and I've gone ahead and cropped it to the 4x5 ratio so that our photo is configured for a vertical post in Instagram. Now if we zoom in here you can see at least from a technical standpoint that our image has a very high resolution and quality. The gradients are smooth, as you can see there's no banding, our subject is tack sharp, there's good color depth and there's great dynamic range. And whilst a lot of this is owed to the type of camera and lens setup that you use, as well as the edit that you apply to your image, another very important and often overlooked contributing factor to this high quality has a lot to do with the bit depth or bit file that you use in your Photoshop workspace. Put simply, working with a high bit depth simply means you get to work with and manipulate a broader spectrum of tones and colors in your project or in your workspace, allowing you to take much greater advantage of what your camera has to offer in terms of its technical capability. Generally speaking, the higher the bit depth, the higher the quality of your image, and this is especially true when it comes to your image export. The importance of using a high bit depth in your workspace cannot be overstated, so be sure to take note of what I'm about to show you. And don't worry at all, it's really not that complicated. All you need to do to achieve a high bit depth working space is to click right over here the moment that you open up your raw photo in Photoshop. This camera raw filter window should open up automatically if you're shooting in raw. And when it does, you just need to go into your camera raw preferences by clicking right here. Then click into the bit depth drop down right over here, select 16 bit or higher, and you're done. Alternatively, you can just simply go over to image mode and then select 16 bits right over here. And as you can see, you can simply go ahead to the document tab right over here to confirm the bit depth workspace that you're currently operating in. Okay, so you're working in a high bit file project. You've applied a quality edit to your photo. Now what we want to do is hold on to or retain as much of your image's technical quality as possible in the final exported image and most importantly in our upload to Instagram. Now, before I dive into the new and improved method of export, it's important that I show you the old method that people commonly use, including my past self, so that you can become more aware of what to avoid and why, and so that you can understand what the key differences are between both methods. So what I used to do was go over to File, Export, Export As, then I would go ahead and select PNG as the file format. This was in fact my first mistake. As you will soon learn, PNG is not the ideal format to use in this case. Following this, I would simply adjust the width and height of the export to 1080 by 1350 pixels as recommended by Instagram for vertical posts. This just so happens to be my second mistake and is actually where the quote unquote hack aspect comes into play in the new method that I'm about to show you. 
Now, exporting your image in this way will not deliver a terrible result per se, but it's certainly not the best method to use if you want to optimize your image for a web upload. And certainly not ideal if you want to circumvent Instagram's compression. So if you want to export a much higher quality image that will retain its high quality even during an Instagram or web upload, what you want to do is head on over to File, Export, and then Save for Web Legacy. But it doesn't end there. First thing you'll notice is that this window exposes you to a completely different and much more sophisticated exporting interface, giving you lots more options during the exporting process. And the first thing you want to do is go down over to this drop down right over here and select JPEG, not PNG, as JPEG will be the best format to use for web uploads for reasons that I will explain in a second. But first, you want to make sure the quality is set to 100 and maximum. Ensure optimize is checked. Embed color profile and convert to sRGB. This will ensure that the colors in your project in your artboard exactly match the colors in your final image. No more weird shifts in color or misalignment in contrast or saturation levels. Also, make sure you select the use document profile in this drop down right over here so that your preview window matches the colors and tones of your document perfectly. Also, be sure to select Bicubic Sharper in the quality dropdown. This will give your image a final sharpening boost. And now for the most important part and where the quote unquote hack comes into play. And you see, because we've selected JPEG, we can go ahead now and dramatically increase our exported images dimensions from the original 1080 by 1350 to a much, much higher value of 2000 by 2500 pixels. That's the magic of exporting in JPEG and not PNG. You see, in doing so, we're able to almost double the resolution of our original exported file, all the whilst maintaining a very low file size. In fact, the file size is almost the same as our original image, which was exported using the old method. Yet the resolution is now much, much higher. So Instagram won't be overwhelmed when you upload it and there won't be any unnecessary compression at play. Some might call this cheating. I call it getting the job done. What this means for you is that you can now look forward to much higher quality image uploads on the gram whilst never having to worry about image compression quality losses ever again. You are welcome. I hope you found that video helpful guys. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care for now.